Alrighty, welcome in today guys. Got a new little project for you guys having to do with a color wheel. This is a color wheel kind of design um, that turns into almost like a little umbrella with some water and some boots splashing in water. It's a cool project that I just came upon on Google when I was typing in color wheel art projects um, and I came across this one and I want to try it with my class. And right, I before we get too much into this, make sure to do me a favor and hit that subscribe button down below. That's the easiest way to get all my videos that are coming out every single week for you while you're down there hit the like button if you're liking this video what you say and maybe your favorite color on the color wheel throw a comment down below in the comment section on your favorite color i think i'm gonna go with blue for my favorite color so let's get right into the project today on your on your paper probably about the size of your hand draw a nice big circle and i'm gonna start this off in sharpie because that's what i do with my kindergartners when they do this project yes i do this as kindergarten project um, and they do pretty good step by step following along. Most of my kindergarten get pretty good at doing step by step. All right, so I got my circle on the top. Pretty good size one. Does not have to be perfect by any means. That's why I'm starting out with Sharpie, just saving a step. And then after I do my circle, I will do an X from one side all the way over to the other side. After I finish that X, I will do a line down the middle and a lot of my students will comment on kind of two things that it looks kind of like a pizza it looks like a pizza on there or it kind of a beach ball i think it looks like a basketball too but that's just me because i'm always thinking about basketball um and then for my three colors i always talk about primary colors and which three colors are the most important and primary colors these are my primary colors the most important colors i start off with the lightest one so that would be yellow i will start off with my yellow and i will go color i'll skip one color skip one color skip one so i'm gonna do my yellow skip one and then i'm gonna do red skip one and then i'm gonna do blue over here so i'm gonna go through that real quick all right so just like that i got it done let me put my crayons back in their correct spots make sure you do that when you guys are done with those now it's kind of the challenging part the challenging part is kind of mixing and making the magic happen as you can see the magic happening is i only have three colors but i'm going to turn this into six colors so how in the world am i going to do that it's going to be by mixing some of those um primary colors to make the secondary colors so the primary would be the first most important ones and the secondary colors would be the next one so i'm going to start with these two and almost think of it as they combine together so what color would you get when you combine yellow and red it would be orange would be that so let's see if i can make an orange how i start out that i always start out with the lighter color lighter color would be the yellow after i add a good kind of layer lightly probably a little bit lighter than just the yellow on there so i want to do a nice light layer of yellow and then i go back with my red on top of that what i always like to do is then take the yellow over the top the red is the stronger color so right now i'm pushing pretty light onto here I got my other colors, so I mixed my blue and my red to get a little bit of a purple. I took my blue and my yellow to make a little green, and then I took my yellow and my red to make a little orange on there. So that is just the beginning, that is just the start of this project. Once you get done with this part of it, then comes the fun part of turning into the kind of a person under an umbrella. So like I said, leave some room on the bottom. So you should have almost probably about a hand size up there, maybe a half a hand down there right, on guys, that So size. as we get into the bottom part of our picture, I got a little confession and a little mistake that I made. But it's good to show you guys that I still make mistakes. Even as a teacher, I still make mistakes. So mistakes are okay. Um, I actually did this whole project and then I realized that my camera was still about right here so that when if I would put that video out you would not get the whole bottom of this picture that we are doing so I'll show you it there um, but I just want to go the, through the step by step of the bottom little shapes that you can add onto there but that's how it will look at the end so you'll have your kind of color wheel on the top so this time I'm gonna scooch it up so I make sure that you can see onto there so on the bottom I have my kids add 
So on the bottom, I'll have you add almost like a triangle kind of shape that goes kind of down, over, and then back up, but it doesn't kind of have the top of that triangle. So just down, over, and back up, and then under that, when you get that done, almost like a little box, and that'll be for the pants. That'll be kind of the square shape. And then my boots, when I do shoes or boots, I kind of start with almost like an L, or in this case, a backwards L, kind of an L shape. This one's kind of big, but that's okay. And then this curvy line kind of curves up, and then kind of goes up towards the boot this way. But at this point, it just looks like one leg, but we want it to look like two legs. So a little trick is to kind of trace the same kind of shape over here with kind of another line. If you want to connect, you can do kind of an L shape there. And then this line can follow all the way over here. And I kind of stop it right in front of there. And just like that, the magic of almost two shoes or two feet onto there. And then, of course, at the bottom, we have our fun puddle, so you can have some fun with some kind of cloud lines or bumpy lines or wavy line. It doesn't have to be any sort of shape because every puddle is a little bit different. So that'll be our splashing puddle over here. If you want to add a line here, I thought this was a cool addition to it. You can add a line kind of on one side with some circles. Do three circles on this one, and those will be kind of the buttons of the little raincoat onto there. And now, by the power of YouTube, which you already saw, um, just like this, it is all done and awesome, um, and then with the background and everything like that. All right, so just like that, there it is. Got my little umbrella with my raincoat, got my blue pants, got my red boots it's splashing out. I tried to make the lines kind of going like they were splashing. And I thought I'd add a little purple and blue for the rain colors of the raindrops in there. So definitely if you like this project, definitely give me a thumbs up. If you haven't, hit that subscribe button down below. That's the easiest way to get all my free fun videos coming out every single week. As always, I am Mr. Shooty. This is Mr. Shooty's Art Class. We'll talk to you guys later.